Griffin's players are pretty popular in Grand Rapids, almost as popular as local celebrity Jack Doles, but I was gonna say no almost one. as popular as your local news and sports anchors, Right, yeah. right, Jack Doles, <laughs> of course, being the king of the crop, but they're pretty cool too. Yeah, well, some of these guys, their wives are even cooler and more popular than Jack Doles. What? <laughs> yeah, Michael Hutchinson's wife, Jenna, has a demanding career of her own, but you might have seen glimpses of it while scrolling through social media. Jenna and Michael Hutchinson used to have the same schedule. I was a goalie as well. Now, they couldn't be more different. We try not to let more than five weeks go by. While Michael's on the ice with the Griffins, Jenna's icing cakes in Winnipeg. I will use this guy just because it's easier to uh, apply the icing on the cake. It doesn't push it around as much. So we have our first bakery, which is our flagship. We have um, one at the Forks, and we have one at Island Lakes, which is more in the south end of the city. And then we have a commercial kitchen space. She runs Generate Cakes with her twin sister, Ashley. Their bakery's Instagram account has more than 200,000 followers, plus more than 23,000 on TikTok. I'm always in awe with everything she does, so you know, I always say, like, yeah, she owns a bakery, but, like, you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg. They've also done a Food Network show, have a cookbook, and worked as food consultants for the Hallmark Channel. I love passing on my knowledge. I'm a self-taught baker and cake decorator, so if I can pass that along to people to help them out throughout their journey, not make all the mistakes I did, I'm all for it. Well, I'm just excited to see, you know, where she takes it because she's so talented. And from day one, when friends introduced Jenna and Michael at a bar, she made it clear she won't be just a hockey wife. I have a business here, my whole family's here, like, I'm not moving, so <laughs> if you want to be with me, like, that's kind of part of the, the plan. And he was okay with it, and he has been okay with it ever since. He's been extremely supportive. And we kind of complement each other, we push each other, uh, and that's where, you know, for myself, I never want her to, like, try and force her hand into coming out and being with me all season long. Even though Jenna and Michael are busy with their own careers and living in different countries, they make it work. It's not ideal, but it's kind of our norm, and, uh, we have ways of, you know, getting through it and dealing with it and, you know, FaceTime's great with the kids. It's really important not to lose yourself in a relationship either, and I think for us that's been really important that I don't lose who I am. And Michael said when they were dating, Jenna would make him stuff all the time, and he had to tell her to stop bringing sweets over because he was trying to lose <laughs> weight at the time, and that was not helping. Yeah, that's how you take a preseason workout regimen. Yeah. A couple cupcakes, it's over. Some macarons in there, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the story.